A large Los Angeles apartment complex with over 700 units is evicting every single tenant so that they can replace the sprinkler system and get out of the grasp of rent control. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting article for you today, and it's going over this large apartment complex in Los Angeles. And basically what they're doing is they're evicting all of their tenants. Right now they have like 577 units that are occupied by tenants. So it's, it's a very, very big complex. They have over 700 units total there, but over 577 are occupied right now. And there are, the majority of them are rent controlled. OK, they're all under the rent control program and, you know, the, the place, it just is not profitable. So that is part of the reason that they want to get all these tenants up out of there, because you know what? These tenants, they're not leaving. They're not leaving. The landlord isn't able to turn over the units, bring them up to market rates. And, you know, it, it's just going to cost them more and more and more money. But that's only part of the issue. The other issue they have is the city of Los Angeles wants them to replace the or place sprinklers in the entire building so they're going to have to invest 300 million dollars in order to do that i mean that is an insane amount just sitting here thinking about spending 300 million dollars to put sprinklers in the entire system i mean i understand it's necessary right they've had some fires there the place isn't safe right but man you know like that sort of obligation onto a landlord and you know the place being under rent control basically made it impossible for them to stay in business unless they got rid of all the tenants and were able to bring everything up to market rates. So that's exactly what they're doing, you know, and yeah, too bad for all the people who got it kicked out. But, you know, like I've mentioned many, many times before, landlords are going to do whatever they can in order to make themselves profitable. Okay. And a whole bunch of rent control tenants inside your building, that is not a long-term, it's not sustainable long-term. It's just not. So before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. A lot of tenants believe that this whole thing is just a ruse in order to get rid of the rent control uh, tenants, right? And I, I actually agree. They are using the law the way that is written in order to remove those tenants from the building and then make it a profitable investment. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. You're, you're following the law as it's written. And it's, it's kind of a crazy plan because it's going to cost them hundreds of millions of dollars in order to do this and a great deal of time. So afterwards, you know, it's going to be quite a while before they're profitable again. Right. But, you know, maybe this is the sort of big risk that you take that can turn, you know, multimillionaires into billionaires and on up. Right. So maybe that's exactly why they're doing this sort of thing. But anyway, let's get into this article and see what it says. This article is coming from the Los Angeles Times and it says, fire plagued apartment complex to remove tenants for a sprinkler retrofit. <laughs> yep, so uh, let's get into the article. The owners of Barrington Plaza, an aging Los Angeles apartment complex with a record of life-threatening fires, said Monday that they plan to evict all tenants to make way for a sprinkler retrofit that will cost more than $300 million and take several years. Landlord Douglas Emmett Inc. notified city officials that it will withdraw all 712 units in Barrington Plaza from the rental market under the Ellis Act. The state law allows landlords to remove tenants from rent stabilized apartments if their building is removed from the rental market. It is, it is expected to be one of the largest mass evictions in the city in recent years, affecting 577 occupied units, some of which house tenants who have lived in the property for decades under rent controls to keep their monthly payments below market rate. Yeah, the place had to be bleeding money, okay? It had to be bleeding money. This was the only option they had. They had to get rid of all those tenants, people living in this place for decades, you know, just decades. So I imagine that the whole $300 million isn't going to be just for the sprinkler system. They're probably going to go through and renovate tons of units as well, right? And you know, the total cost for the renovations and the sprinkler system is going to be $300 million. So, you know, this is a very, very large deal. And, you know, like I've said, there are ways to make money, but man, you, you got to really know how to play the game and you got to really invest a lot of money 
in Los Angeles. And, you know, to me, it's not worth it. Maybe if you're, you know, already dealing with hundreds of millions or billions of dollars, you can go into Los Angeles and make a lot of money. But for the average investor, the small mom and pop, such as myself, it just isn't worth it. But yeah, I mean, I think that one of the aspects of the, their, their rent control law that allows people to get out of the rental business, right? Well, what did they expect to happen? You know, people are going to do whatever they can to make sure they're profitable. So in this case, they're pulling, you know, they're getting out of the rental market. They're doing all these renovations to the building because, you know, they, they want to be able to make a profitable rent on this, this property, right? But in other cases, it might be people who convert the buildings over to condos or co-ops. It might be in the case of, you know, smaller properties, you know, just, you know, just t turning it into admit, you know, using it for a different use. And for the places that you know, have rent control for single family homes, they might sell to owner occupants. Okay. So there are always going to be options for landlords and they're going to look at the best option for them. That's why the number of rent control units doesn't increase. It only decreases. It just slowly declines. The, you know, the amount of development declines too, because eventually all of these rent control programs they put in place throughout the country, they only give you a short period of time where you're not under the rent control system. So, you know, it, all of this is ridiculous. You know, the real solution to this would be to let the free market do what it does and let these developers and landlords and real estate investors do what they need to do in order to make money. Because you end up with these scenarios like this where you've got hundreds of people getting kicked out of their apartments. Well, this wouldn't happen if these people had been allowed to charge market rate rents from the get go, had been allowed to make upgrades and updates. I mean, they would have made upgrades and updates if they had you know, a reasonable amount of income coming in. OK, so they wouldn't have had to go through all this nonsense because they would have already been profitable enough. So, yeah, let's continue. Residents were notified Monday of the planned closure. Tenants rights advocates Larry Gross of the Coalition for Economic Survival and Douglas Emmett should have planned to temporarily relocate the tenants and allowed them to return to their rent controlled units when the repairs are complete. There are long term tenants who are going to end up displaced and will have to pay much higher rents in the future, he said. They won't be able to find comparable housing in the neighborhood or even city. Yeah, uh, these tenant right advocates are morons. Okay, they're complete morons i mean just read you read that you know like it, this person has no concept of reality so this person wants the the pro you know the the landlord to temporarily relocate all these people so the landlord now has to find hundreds of units for all these people to live in right and then you know they um while they're living there pay their rent and then afterwards after they've spent 300 million dollars on repairs to this building, charge them the same rent controlled rent that they were paying before. Oh, you were paying 500 bucks a month? Oh yeah, you know, I, I just spent a hundred grand on your building, so no, no, no rent increase for you though. I mean, this is moronic, okay? Moronic because it doesn't make any sense. You know, like if you think about the economics of it, rent control doesn't make sense. There's no incentive whatsoever to do any repairs unless you're able to raise the rents. That is obvious it's to everyone except for these socialists who believe that money comes from thin air. Oh, well, we're you're making plenty of money. Like you haven't seen our books, have you? Because we're hemorrhaging money the way things are running right now. The complex at Wilshire Boulevard and Barrington Avenue in LA's Sawtell neighborhood will be returned to the rental market when the upgrades are complete, the landlord said. No completion date has been set and there are no provisions for tenants to return to their units. Current tenants may have as long as a year to move out and, in the case of elderly or disabled occupants, could receive more than $22,000 in financial assistance for relocation, the landlord said. Yeah, that's another one of their laws. Basically, the landlord has to pay these people to, you know, you know oh, well, you know, we just can't terminate your lease. No, we have to pay you for you to leave. Whew. So, yeah, this, this project is going to cost just hundreds of, it's going to cost, I mean, I don't know if the 300 million includes the payouts to the tenants. Maybe it does. Maybe they've already figured out the exact amount that they're going to have to pay a, 
out to all these tenants and they included it into the amount for the, you know, uh, the sprinkler system upgrades. I mean, that's what I would have done, you know, like I would have said, okay, here's the math. This is what we're going to have to pay the tenants. This is what it's going to cost to do all the repairs. This is what it's going to cost us in lost rent until all the repairs are done, you know, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And then came up with, okay, so the total cost is going to be $300 million. That's, you know, that's probably what they did. Okay. So yeah, man, what, what a joke though. Anyway, you know, I, I feel bad in a way for some of these tenants, right? Because, you know, this is unexpected. However, what did they expect? What do they expect landlords to do? We're going to work with whatever we've got to be able to get around all of these ridiculous laws. Now, my suggestion is don't invest in a place that has rent control in the first place, but don't be surprised when these landlords, right? These ones who invested just hundreds of millions of dollars in properties, they're going to do whatever it takes to be profitable.